Let's talk about functions. The functions most of us are familiar with are real functions. These have real numbers as their inputs and outputs. These functions can be visualized on a 2D Cartesian plane. But there exists one more type of function, complex functions. These have complex numbers as their inputs and outputs. To visualize such functions, we use a tool known as Riemann surface. To make a Riemann surface, first we let z equals x plus yi and w equals u plus vi. Now we position our surface directly above the w plane. What's left is to let either the real value or imaginary value of z represent the height of the surface. Here we let x represent the height of the surface. By doing this, each point on our Riemann surface corresponds to its u, v and the x values. As we can see that there is a line of self-intersection on our surface. What this means is that the point on the line have the same u, v and x values but different y values. One way to visualize the y value is to include color in our surface. To decide which colors to map to which point, we use a color map. We color each point on our surface with a color that corresponds to the value of the missing variable of our function. Now with the help of the color map, it is much more clear now that the parent self intersection isn't actually there. And we were only seeing that because we were visualizing a 4D space into 3 dimensions. So in a nutshell, we learned what a Riemann surface is and how to visualize it. Thanks for watching.